Hello, Monsters of Anion, welcome back. Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires Part 5. I think of my Patreon supporter campaign with Astalia and Borgo the Besieger last time. The expedition didn't go great. Uh, we got overran by, by Dread Spears. So many Dread Spears. Just completely overwhelmed us with sheer weight of numbers. Um, no, it was quite embarrassing, to be honest. And uh, Well, we, you're going to need to because you're at Flayed Rock, surrounded by enemies, and at least you're not costing me any money because if you were, then you'd be out of here. You are not costing me any money. What does the Emperor bid? Nope, I'm not paying you, so that's fine. As long as I'm not paying you, you can stay. <laughs> you can stay there. It's not the best option for you, but never mind. Um, now, we need to get... Right, so the poll last time was... We've, we've heard whisperings that potentially some threat could be appearing uh, near our territory. And should we worry about that and prepare for that invasion? Or should we just not worry about it and we're fine, we'll go somewhere else and retake Astalia? And uh, the vast majority of people said we should just not worry about it. It's fine. Nothing will ever happen. Kind of like global warming. And we should just get on with it. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I think the safest way to get around there is probably sail. Because if we go across the land, we'll have to go through the Chaos Corruption. That'd be a lot slower, so... Indeed. So we're just going to sail over here. This should be fine. Uh, public order here is not great, so we're going to untax that. And that is still not great, but with any luck, we'll be there in five turns to deal with that. Once, we, once we've got Bill Bailey, we can get Magritta. If there is a rebellion down here, we can sort that out, assuming that they don't keep spawning armies or some shit. Anyway, uh, down here, we... I'm uh, right. You know what I want to do is potentially get another army. I kind of want to get better, but you are, so, Marco Colombo, you are a potential, but, you, now, you do reduce public order, but not that bad. Plus, you increase tax rate by 20%, which, let's face it, Lupio, you're in. Indeed. So, we're going to get you guns. Good. That's what we're going to do. And also you give me more money, so that's all fine. Um, we've got defences here, which is excellent. I want more money, so maybe we go with... We're not actually taxing this province, are we? No, we're not. That's fine. Um, if we do that, minus one, that's fine. I can live with that. We've got... We could get Smithy's Tavern. We could always knock down the tap room and get Smithy's Tavern later, but we won't do that for the moment. We could get the Night Ward. Now, we're always going to have some Vampiric Corruption here. It is only going to be 14.3%, and I don't know if that's worth the effort. I mean, we could get a Shrine of Marimedea. Which would help with that. So then we could get the Knights of the Righteous Spear. Are they any good? Unlikely, seeing as the vast majority of the Southern Realm roster seems to be pretty shit, all in all. But never mind. You know, we're just gonna live with that, I guess. It's fine. I think we might have to rely on guns. I think guns, yeah. Yeah, guns. Guns are good. Guns are good. Your orders. So, let us skedaddle over there. Five turns before it rebellion. It's fine. Spearman? I don't... Mm, 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 uh, tell you what, let's get a mortar or two. Because they're already... Uh, they're pretty good. And what's happening here? I'm guessing you're probably mustering. Tell you oh, what, let's... let's no, not march. Let's see if we can ambush. We'll get defences here. I'm not... It, this is... How much... It's making us 82 income. I mean, it's it's not much, I grant you. But maybe if we can kill some people there, it, it'll be it'll be something. What can we build here? The deep watch. Ooh. That's actually not bad. But let's get some... Well, hmm. If I can slow down... we get that, that'll slow it down. If we can build an army here, we can bring them over and defend against any rebellion. It'll probably be uh, the faction that lived there, whatever they were, they were called. I can't remember what they were called, but that's fine. They'll probably rise up, but they will be at war with me because, of course, I own the settlement, and so they'll rebel against me, despite the fact that chaos is the real problem. But, you know, sometimes people don't realise what the real problem is, and suppress or no they express that's the word express their rage towards the wrong target that's deep oh that's actually pretty good 
in well indeed uh more public order actually forgot to do anything with you but never mind uh have a burger a lovely burger mm, a fitting end what's this mean oh research rate 10 percent. nice nice direct me okay this Off way we go Okay, is there anyone at Bill Bailey? Because with any luck, there isn't. But there will be a nasty garrison here. So yes, we've got Gore, we've got Bester Gore, we've got Centre Gore. There's a lot of Gore. Uh oh. All hail, honored rat. Oh, that's that's potentially bad news, Bear. Um. All right. I mean, worst case, we get attacked. That that would be pretty bad though, because. I am the heir of Anarium, and I bid you welcome. Very well. Okay, let's let's improve because that will hopefully improve. No, you don't like you don't like them. Okay, well that's fine. I wonder if we could like Hwattle. Oh, you don't like my treatise with the Hunts Marshal. Okay, well you know we've got trade with quite a few people. We're selling people a lot of grapes, I think. A lot of, lot of grapes. 31 barrels of grapes. There we go. Some wine, some elven trinkets, that kind of thing. I think we can sell elven trinkets to the elves. That would be pretty impressive, wouldn't it? Could get the channels of Mornington Crescent, which would give us 500 income. We would need 7k to do that, though. So maybe if we save our money, we can build that. That's going to give us more money. Of course, we have the, the boost here. Plus, we've got Lupio. He's giving us some cash. So I'm just going to sit on our money for the moment. Oh, I forgot about you. You the come over here. Is, marked in fire. is it? You're on the water. Suggests an oil spill. Who calls? Devastating. Anyway, so, um, yeah, th this this video would have been a little bit late, and that's because I really was not feeling very well. Um, I went to record it on Friday, and I was dead. Basically, just a massive pounding migraine. Um, did not. Tum bad tummy. Terrible tummy. And uh, just just felt awful ached all over as well i'm feeling a little better today i'm still not 100 percent but uh what do we want here trade must flow we've established sanitary trade with our neighbors what matters now is we continue handling our trade so dip that uh, okay that's okay income from trade tariffs that'd be quite nice i kind of want to go with this it's eight turns let's do that i don't know if that's actually worth it like how much money we're making from trade so is that better than the 1,500? I don't. Ready. Might be debatable. Move. Might be debatable. I wonder if we can trade with anyone. Oh my god. Mooselon's actually doing something for once. I've never seen that. Yes, General. Uh, hello, Ikit. What are you doing there, buddy? You are in Your range. That is yes, my lord. best. I want to take Bill Bailey, but I don't really want to fight a horde of of those guys um praise sigma right okay what to do here then i refuse what it now let's have fight you. the strength rank 57 so that must be your only army have you really taken all that stuff you've got two settlements <sighs> so can we take bill bailey do we think I mean, yes, is the answer. We should be able to take that. The only problem being is that then we're going to get jumped by a claw with nukes. So that's going to be pretty dicey, but I think it's worth it. I mean, worst case... Worst case... Ugh, I don't really want to take attrition either. Okay, let's just, let's just try and land here. I don't want to get attacked by that Skaven army over there. I don't think we can attack that because we've got yes. no river range. So we're going to take a little bit of attrition. I might have to encamp up just to heal up. Might get attacked by a kit. Don't know. Guess we'll see. And I'm going to save my pennies to see if I should... I'm taxing that, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, we're going to save our pennies because I want to build those, those canals. Canals? Channels? Whatever. Oh, I did wonder if you'd... Holy crap, you've got two armies. Okay, well, that's... It's always the bloody swordsman, isn't it? That is a lot of plague monks you have there. That's that's a lot of a lot of plaguey boys. They're not very good though. But okay, 
Okay, well, yeah, you're, you're doing a lot of the plague action, aren't you? Plus you can nuke us, which is not super nice. We'll go there, bravely charging the Skaven force all by himself, but he is a man with no peripheral vision, and he's probably taken several head injuries, so um, that's fine. And also, he's just going to get them all nicely and blobbed up. Because overhead we have Telsian, who is currently on fire, but that's fine. So we're going to get a little. Oh, look at all those rats being sucked off. How many kills, Telsian? Let's have a look. 22, 52, 109, 147, 179. Yep, that's. Yep. Yep. Okay, well, they, they got blended. They got well and truly fucking blended. And we're also then going to use a penumbral pendulum on them. Oh, the jam! Oh, the jam! Fab. That was, that was, I think that was a good start. 406 kills and 40, 14 on Borgio. Nice work. We do have Ikit Claw himself heading towards us, though. Camouflage is a horde of moving crystals. What does that mean? Who knows? Fuck, anyway, we're going to send Rufio in to attack him. Rufio gets run over immediately. He's roadkill. Rufio, buddy. Come on, mate. And of course, we've got the uh, Utho's unlucky organ. <laughs> Not the only unlucky organ I've ever seen. Or possess. Jeez, look at all those, those minced rats. Jeez, that's... Uh, yeah. All right, doing a lot of damage as they advance, which is just as well, because our infantry are garbage. Ow. Would you please stop doing that? God, they've got a lot of plague monks, though, haven't they? Oh, we've also got some more fire throwers, which are slightly problematic, so we're going to suck them off, because that will keep them busy, and they won't be able to spray fire at us, at least not as badly. And that means we can shoot them to pieces with the old pirates there. There we go, more fire throwers dealt with. Very good, although we are being jumped by some Skaven Spears and plague monks, which is, ow, less than ideal. Let's try and deal with them. Got a big old front over here. These these swords, they've been... They, they've been... Oh, they've just been brass orbed. They've been lightninged. They're not having a good time. I'll go as far as to say they might be all dead. Oh dear. That's, that's not a good time. Let's do a little sucking off of our own. There we go, and the Leopard Company coming in from the flank. Where's old uh, Telsian, eh? Where is he? He's hanging around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. How many kills? 498. Not bad. Not bad. Looks like Ikit Claw is continuing just to run around. Don't really know what he's doing. What is your, what's your damage value, Telsian? I'm just interested in that. What should you do? 3,356. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Most of the Skaven initial force is now fleeing. Uh, they do have some plague monks. It's Mika, of course, well-known song artist. Is he well-known? Maybe he was at one point. Is he anymore? Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Ikit Claw's coming back. We've actually targeted him with everything we've got. I'm hoping to be actually finish him off. Can you please go away? No, not the cannons. Go away. Fuck off. Who's, look, shoot him. Someone shoot him. He's doing he's doing wheelies. He's doing wheelies on my cannon crew. Get Okay, he's, he's running away. Good. Keep keep shooting him. Right. So far so good. Uh, one of our pirates took a little bit of damage there, but generally not too bad. The second wave is on its way. See Borgio and uh, Rufio. Char I'm gonna give Rufio. I, I need to give him a horse. He's very slow on foot. I keep thinking I've given him a horse, and then I'm, I wonder why he takes ages to get anywhere. So we're just trying to keep these uh, plague monks at arm's length. Our poor swordsman got at, just got the shit kicked out of him. Look how many dead plague monks there are there. They really hit that that flank. Leopard Company seem fine though. Uh, so we need to take out, we've got Mika, and there's also Trancy Form, and the Grace here with Plague. He's riddled. 
just seem to be all dicking about over here. It's fine. I don't worry about it. It's my second wave. It's not very. I mean, most of the Skaven are retreating. Obviously, we need to try and conserve as much of our force as possible. Because we need to, after this battle's finished, we need to go and take Bill Bailey, which is going to be stuffed with a quite nasty Beastman garrison. Well, that organ gun actually does a lot of damage, doesn't it? 378 kills. Jesus. Good grief. It's a lot. Right. Let's, yeah, that's it. Beat up the Grace here. He's now going to run away. He's a sad Grace here, which means hopefully everyone else will be sad fairly soon. And then they'll all bugger off. I don't know where these guys came from, so I'm wondering if they marched. They are very tired, which suggests they march, which means if we destroy this army, I mean, if we win this battle, it should destroy this army anyway. So it really doesn't matter about these guys getting away. Ooh, that's got a sting. That's got a sting. We've got a little blob over here. Borgio taking on the Plague Monks. Telsian overhead waiting to suck more Plague Monks off. That's going to do it. How many kills? 514, 520, 523, 529, 537, 542. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And with that final sucking, it looks like the Skaven have had enough. And are fleeing back from whence they came. Okay, well at least that's killed Ickit, and I entirely forgot where I went with the conversation. Did I, right, Mill, that was good. Um, also, I'll be moving in a few weeks, so that's exciting. Let's take the replenishment there. So yeah, I'll be moving in a few weeks. Fit again, more research rate, that's quite nice. So, videos, I mean, I'm hoping it should be fine, but I don't know how quick I'll have internet, so, or how, sort of, how quick I'll be set up, everything gets settled and all that stuff. So, there may be a little bit of a hiatus, I can only apologise for that, but obviously moving quite a big thing. Oh, more growth in public order. Uh, I also don't want to give you money. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Skull Smashes are dead. Karakadrin burning, apparently. The Green Tide united. Have all united the Green Tide? Oh. That doesn't sound good. Is that bad? Doesn't, doesn't. Sounds bad. Okay, well, we've got tech. So let's get Dreams of Empire. Income from trade tariffs will increase. Sir? Yes, Graf. Let's get a little bit of replenishment before we head into Bill Bailey, because, you know, we're. We're quite far away from home here. We've been attacked by some rats. Obviously, that has uh, dealt with them for the moment. Hard to hit. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And I also want my old, my old canals, don't I? Is it canals? The channels. It's the channels. Restored and enlarged. <laughs> Ain't that the case. Bosh. Grab that one. That'll be good. Just look, how long is it going to take us to replenish this? Take two. It's going to take longer to. On the other hand, our characters are a little bit beaten up as well, aren't they? Let us go with that one. So if we give ourselves a couple of turns, hit Bill Bailey. If we can take Bill Bailey. Oh, or do we go for it now? Let's give ourselves one turn of replenishment and then we'll go. We'll go for it, I think. That's what we're going to do. I didn't really... What are these guys? They are... So these guys are gunners. They've got 19 and armor piercing. These guys are gunners, but they don't have the armor piercing which suggests they're worse. Noble Retinue, Knights and Carmine. They seem pretty good. I think we probably want to go this way though, but let's let's build our little little channely thing first. Uh, you can get, um, at some point you will, Moving off. you will go in an army, but although 
is is Caron still? Oh my god, the the Bretonnia's fallen to the vampires. Did not see that one coming. Holy balls! All right. I mean, still no invasion down here, so that's good. That's nice. It's something. Now, the Bray has come over there. Okay, well, that's bad. Followers of Nurgle. Plague takes hold in the Empire. Okay. Okay, we need to take out Bill Bailey. If we take Bill Bailey, we can then go and resettle Magritta. And then we'll also be at war with the Beastmen, wherever they may be. He's strength rank 72, which doesn't it suggests he doesn't have much of an army. The AI doesn't seem particularly good at dealing with Beastmen, does it? Because yes. I I, they just don't seem to have many armies most of the time. Even though, you know, it's not hard for them to have armies, because they're free. But they seem to kind of struggle with it. Do I want to... what else do we have here? I could get rid of you. Who calls? And get, I mean, the birdmen. I don't know how useful they're going to be. Galloper guns. They've only got 28 weapon strength. And no missile attack? The fuck does that mean? Do they have. Okay, well. well Okay, won't worry about that in the moment. These guys, cloak and dagger. Like maybe we go with the Amazons because they are very killy ladies. On the other hand, cursed company. What do they do? So, okay, you seem you seem pretty legit. I'm going to get you. I'm going to... Maybe replace you with an ogre? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to declare war. Yes, we're going for it. Yeah, we're going to lightning strike. I should be fine. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. We just need to neutralize the Minotaurs. The center ghouls could be a little bit nasty if they get around the flank. And the best of ghouls could be nasty if they get into melee combats. We've got a nice little commanding position up here on the hill, and the Orc Guns are already doing some very excellent work there. Got our defense formation there. We've got our man eaters. We've got the pirates hiding in the trees. I don't think the center goals will like that engagement. We do have to be careful. They do have throwing axes, but I think we can beat them in uh, the sh a shooting match, because of course they don't have as many as our pirates do. So we have a, a numbers advantage. We've got some more on the flank over here. Probably... Um, mm, it's, it's probably fine. Already getting those crossbow shots. Already the best of goals not very happy. Noble Pendulum. Oh, very nice. Good hits. 123 kills. Very nice. Well, the first barrage has sent quite a few beastmen scurrying back down the hill. Over on the flank, we are seeing some issues as the center ghouls sort of start moving around. Not really much we can do about that. We do have a reserve of swordsmen. And over here, we can see that the center ghouls actually engage the pirates in combat, but started losing that engagement, so have pulled out. Getting a little pit of shades over here, which has managed to catch a blob of center gores and razor gores in that, as, as well as then having the pirates behind them, filling them full of lead. The Alicante Fellowship are dealing with some Minotaurs. Obviously, they are anti-large, but uh, the Minotaurs are, well, anti-everything, so there is that. They seem to be doing okay. That's it. Poking with sticks. Poking with sticks, lads. Try not to explode into blood. That's, yep, yeah, that, no, he failed. Jeez, they've already got 40 kills. Okay, but they are routing. The Alicante Fellowship did hold the line. So far, so good. The organ guns 
doing a lot of damage to these Bestigore herd as they try and take on Borgio. Borgio is a very tanky boy. On the flank, the swordsmen have managed to chase off the, cent uh, the Razor Gores and the Centre Gores who are now chucking axes at them. Well, I can't really do much about them, so I'm just going to sort of like lead them to their own devices because they're not really doing too much damage. As long as the best are running around in front of my line, I'm not too bothered because the longer they do that, the longer they are for my crossbows to target and finish them off. Even the pirate, I, I quite like the pirates actually. They're, they're quite good. You can see picking off those uh, razor gore herd, causing them to flee. The centacles are throwing axes, again chucking axes at us. But the return fire coming from the pirates is going to be enough to do way more damage than they're doing to us. And looks like the beast men are definitely losing this engagement. Borkeo's taken a bit of a beating, but he'll have time to recuperate once Bill Bailey is back in Italian hand. I say back, I mean it's Cistalia, but you know what I mean. Blood of our ears. Hooray! The tyranny of the beastmen has been lifted. Yep. Occupy. Obviously, the major issue now is it's riddled with, with chaos corruption. But never mind, it's probably fine. It's almost certainly fine. If we get a pub in here, people will forget all about the tentacles, won't they? So that'll be okay. Right. We have to go and take Magritta. Resettle that one. Build up the rest. Retake Astalia. And then, you know, all good. Assuming we don't have a rebellion. No, we should be fine. Think. Praise Sigma. Indeed. So, other than that, looking pretty good. Uh, right, we're going to see if the Empire's still alive. It's a little bit worrying that, uh, you know, old Bretonia seems to be vampire food. I am your better in every conceivable way, and I shall break you. Kinky. All right, well, the Empire's definitely still alive. If we can go find him, we might be able to trade with him. You never know. What does the Emperor bid? Also, we don't have any money, so that's the whole thing. Skill points, obviously, Telsian, Evington Angle. Did I name him that? Seems weird. Anyway, yeah, yeah immortality there as well. And that actually isn't great. So I might not grab that one. Um, what's this do? That's pretty good. Our crossbows are pretty potent, so maybe we should go with that. Let's go with that. You know, plus these guys get more tanky. Yes. That sounds good. Right, we're going to take Magritta. Resettle that. Give it a proper name. Job sorted. Estalia, take... Well, that's part of our victory conditions. Completed, isn't it? What are you getting? It's like the Hunts Marshal's actually doing very well in... In Lustria, which is good for us. Not so good for the lizard men, I guess. Deliver your message. Hello. Carrot Zorm? The f fuck are you doing there? Unless the fact that I've like attacked Clan Eshin from behind has confused the hell out of them. Many Astalians, having fled the destruction brought on by the Brayheads and their homeland, sold themselves into indentured servitude to reach the new world. The sudden surge in labour means suddenly no jobs, making paying back the loans difficult. Worse still, thousands of fresh refugees from Bill Bailey pour in each day, fleeing the worst of the suffering. More and more immigrants are taken to search in the jungle in armed bands for the means to pay back their creditors, and gold has become more common than food in the port cities. Oh. Savage blow. Sir. Right. If we can just stick here for a turn, because we can probably reach Bill Bailey in like a couple of turns. Is it time? I don't want to. I don't want to like settle Magritta only to have a, a rebellion spawn outside. That would be annoying. So we'll we'll just make sure it's all a little bit settled, and then we'll go and uh, sort that out, won't we? Yes, we will. That's that's probably a better idea than just settling it right away. I get in trouble then. Uh, Bordelow. 
Maybe we can trade with them. Who knows? Greetings from Sigma. Hello. Trade agreement. Uh, all right. Course. Now, can I have a trade agreement? By Sigma, no. What about that? No, no. Wow, you seem really intense. Okay, fine. Doesn't look like you're having a great time, though. Looks like the vampires are right on your doorstep, which... It's not great, is it? It's not great. What do we need to do to win again? So, we need 10 of these. That's fine. And we've already got... We've got Sartosa. We've got Escape and Blight. We've got Tilia. We need Stalia, the Western Border Prince, the Eastern Border Princes, the Vaults, Carcassonne, Bordelow, Avalon, the Winter's Tea, Solent, and Sart... Oh, we've got Sartosa. Uh, we also need to kill Clan Scryer, the Creeping Death. Grimgore's our boys. That could be tricky, depending on how strong Grimgore is. I mean, we might be okay, or we might be in a lot of trouble. Who knows? I mean, we're not... This, this, this isn't great. I wonder if we can... I'm just going to stay there and ambush. Maybe we can push, push Clan Eshin back or something. I genuinely don't know. We seem fine from the south, so that's something. It's something. Uh, Skaven blights. I did. When? How much growth do you have? Hundred and right. Ten turns before you get more surplus. Cheers. Fine. I can't really do much more with growth there. If we can get to the reclaim city. That'll be better. Currently, we're only making 87 income here, which isn't great. To be honest, I could remove the training field and get more money in here. But we're not really getting any bonuses, so it's probably... Probably not worth the effort. Your orders. In one more turn, we'll get the pub here as well, which will help public order more. A couple of turns. I think we'll be fine to just run down. Resettle Magritta. That'll then... We hopefully won't have any public order problems. As soon as we've got Magritta, we can start building that up, and that we then know where a Baron Rebellion will spawn. It'll be fine. Uh, so, Kazrak is still out there somewhere. Obviously, he's going to be somewhat cranky about the whole taking Bill Bailey thing. That is going to be a bit of a, so? a, bit of a thing. Um, it's got military presence is 10. I think we'll be alright, actually. As long as we're in the region. No, the region stops there, though. Yeah, we could just, we just give it one more turn. It'll be good. We'll get some more money here as well. That'll be nice. And Clan Eshin do not seem to want to try and retake the Flayed Rock for some reason. So we're just sitting outside there, keeping an eye on it. Seems fine. No rush. Looks like the Empire's uh, struggling. Or is it? Because obviously in my in my Azhar campaign, they are they're just holding on. It's just endless waves of spearmen and archers all up in my shit. To be honest, I think the Empire was easy to deal with before they got the archers. So the Hunts Marshall Expedition DLC. Because before then, they needed the building to recruit crossbows. So before, like, a level 2 building. Hello. It seemed to be being raided. The nation calls. Okay, well that's slightly problematic. Uh, I don't have smithies. Okay, in that case, let's just get some of you. What? Yes, my lord. Oh, you're going to retake that, aren't you, you little shit? Ready? Well, you can't have much down here, so we'll just go and retake no, it off. And to be honest, that makes our life easy because if they've resettled it, then we don't have to resettle it. We can just go and kill them. What's this? Occupy, loot, sack, or raise five different settlements belonging to the Tomb Kings. Your spies and scholars find a suitable tread. A former king of Magritta, Esquiato Sonscryer, disappeared in the expedition into the land of the dead, and yet there are rumours of something seething there. Furthermore, you weren't the only one hearing the resonating commands. Okay. Move any character to Magritta. Proceed to the next mission. Oh yeah, we did have that one. Right, we're going to take Magritta. 
So that'll be sorted. Need to deal with some beastmen over there. What? Oh, we can get the yes, get the port. Do we want to do that, or do we want to do that here? It's probably better to do that here because we're gonna we've got sixty three percent additional income. I mean, this is going to bring us seven hundred and forty. So that's nice. Pick up the pace. Let's just have a quick look around here, see what they got. So they do still have Altdorf. Age of Discovery. Interesting. But more importantly, we've got the channels of Mornington Crescent. So that's going to bring us some extra income. It's also going to make um, income for all adjacent regions. So making a little bit more here. I mean, not much, but it's something. Now. Oh, chaos. that's not good. Advanced. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, we're actually positive public order. How should we proceed? Okay, let's let's do this. If that's what the emperor commands. We're gonna scooch a little bit closer. It will be an in camp, and we're going to kill these guys once they've done whatever they're doing. That's a lot of minotaurs. That's not a good happy time. That's a that's a bad time. That's a very bad time. It's, that's too many minotaurs. So, step to it. So, have you seen bloody minotaurs? They're murder trains. They're amazing. I fucking love those boys. Holy shit. Such good lads. Now. So what else could we do here? Uh, we do want the mercenary hub, don't we? Okay, so we'll leave that for a sec. And the annoying thing is they'll probably raise Magritta. I might have to save Clan Scryer, but only momentarily before I obviously crush them. And I wouldn't be surprised if we also lose Bill Bailey, because I'd, I'd expect more Skaven are probably heading this direction. Greetings, stranger. Hello, military access. Um, sure. To be honest, I'm just a little bit confused about why that's happening. Okay. I've got a Templar of Marimadea. What do you require? I don't know. What do you do? You've got Spear of Marimadea. It's pretty good. Using courage, so kind of like a buff, buffy, tanky boy. Seems like. Okay, well, tell you what, you go in that one. A time to heal. Yep. Okay. Sure. You, you do that. And I'm gonna give you a thing. No need, my. I don't really want to do this, but we're gonna have to save Clan Scryer so that we may take Magritta, which means we're gonna have to fight. The Beastmen. Okay, it might be a little bit cheesy, but I may have been flying Telsian around to waste the Cygol's rocks. Obviously, he took one or two in the head, but I'm sure he's fine. As long as he can still cast a bit of shades and write his own name properly, that's fine. Or at least put a shades. I'll, I'll, that's the bar. Like, if he draws on his own shoes a bit, that's fine. As long as he can cast a bit of shade, so good. Anyway, so we've got the sunburnt minotaurs heading this way. Ooh, taking a lot of those crossbow shots, but not nearly enough. There's a lot of minotaurs here. I mean, thankfully, Torok is... Oh, God, Rufio. Just got slammed. Uh, the Cursed Company is getting jumped up and down on by minotaurs. Truly living up to their name. Crossbows. I mean, yeah, if, if nothing gives you more enthusiasm to load your crossbow faster, it's a horde of Minotaurs chewing through the people directly in front of you. On the right flank, we've got the Man Eaters fighting Minotaurs and some Doggos. Borgio's in here somewhere as well. So we caused a bit of a rout. I think the Cygals are out of ammunition, or almost out of ammunition, which is just as well, because with the few boulders they had, they still caused a catastrophic damage. This guy's the worst. Leopard Company held the line nicely. Swordsman just got reduced to jam. Never mind. And the Curse Company is getting its ass kicked. I probably should send some help, but... 
I mean, that guy has no head anymore, so... In fact, a lot of them are losing their heads. Yeah. I mean, the important thing, when, when fighting Minotaurs, don't lose your heads. Obviously, these guys have done just that almost immediately. So, we should probably concentrate some fire over here. Try and reduce that number of minor, Minotaurs to a manageable number. A little bit of a bit of shade over there, showing that Telsian is indeed absolutely fine. The Swordsmen, less so, because they're getting, you know... Yep, jam fights. I think the Cursed Company might be dead. They're, they're down to three Skellingtons, which is not a good number of... I think they've. I think they're. De yeah. I think they. I think they're gone. I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. Maybe we should concentrate some fire on these minor tools over here. Does anyone think we should be doing that? Yeah. Cross crossbows. Good. Yeah. That's it. They've killed 116. That's a lot of stuff. And what? Yeah. Okay. Well. Good. And away they go. We have saved Clan Scryer, and the Cursed Company died. But then I guess that's how they got their name. Think about it. Pretty cursed. Super cursed. Uh, right. Can I now just take this? In fact, if I do this, then I can just kill everyone, right? Yeah, that'll do it. That's it. Get out of my house. How should we proceed? Mine now. Right. Good. Okay, we still need to deal with this. At least we managed to kill one of the Cygors. So that's something. It is... It is something. Grab one of you. I'm going to take... A couple of those lads as well. We're making 3k. Not bad. Let's upgrade this ASAP. And how long before we can upgrade this? It's going to be 16 turns. Ugh. What about if we put some lovely bushels in there? Love a good bushel. Yeah, I'm surprised Clan Eshin haven't actually to the provinces. done that a thing. I'm tempted to maybe, you know, invade, try and push them back. But I don't know whether that would end up with us getting, you know, ambushed and, uh, and wiped out. Okay, so we've taken Astalia. That's good. Looks like board low. Welcome to Fair Bretonia. Led by some some random guy. I don't know who that is. How right? How many settlements does Clan Scryer have now? Zero. Yeah. Well, you're almost dead, mate. In fact, I go so far as to say you've got one badly wounded Grey Seer. Is it time? So that's obviously not looking great for you. What else could we get here? Rico's Republican Guards. They they seem pretty pretty legit. Let's get those guys. Kind of got a dogs of war army. It's nice. And Scaven Blight will be right, as soon as we get that, we can upgrade this. That'll obviously make more money for us. That'll be quite nice. We can get get some we can get tailors in there. It's it's good. Right. Next we need to potentially think about sort of trying to get Greetings, stranger. No. All right, what about a defensive alliance? A weak order. What about military access? Not in my name. What about a slap around the face? You little bitch. Be at peace. Well, that Trade agreement. I'll ignore that. You son of a bitch. This is just strength rank three. Good grief, but the vampires are on your doorstep. Okay, well, we're going to try and get, obviously, the Bull of Board Princes. How many settlements do they have? So they got two. So who owns this? Ruins and Grimgore's Ard Boys. So we need to take them. We, we need to kill Grimgar, 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 Grimgore's Ard Boys. We don't really need to. Oh, we do need to. Put, we need to take Carcass on, so we could potentially try and get. Grants you safe passage in these land. Okay. If we do that. If you insist. If we do that, right? That's looking pretty good. So if we can get. That is a military alliance. We can get that. Amendment. We don't, you know, it, that seems fine. So the poll for next time is going to be, should little El Cadavo 
Should he try and push forward and take on Clan Eshin, or do we just leave him at Flayed Rock to sort of like live live out his life because you know, pushing out could be dangerous. God God knows how many dread spears are out there now. They're breeding like bloody rabbits, aren't they? Could be dangerous. So uh, that's that's gonna be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.